Samson. Getting started with supplies, you're going to want two and a half to three and a half yards of sweatshirt fleece or any stretchy fabric will do. And you can use thick or thin stretchy fabric depending on the weight of the sweatshirt you're trying to make. A half yard of ribbing. Two eyelets and these can be any size. One yard of cord. Two cord stoppers. And lastly, your pattern. And this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com. It comes in multiple sizes and it's super easy to adjust if you really want to bring it into an exact size. This pattern also includes the panels for a cowl neck and a hoodie. They're super easy to use. All you have to do is print it, tape it, and cut it out. And everything will be linked down in the description from the supplies to the pattern. After cutting out on the fold, you're gonna wanna end up with one front panel. One back panel also cut on the fold. Two pocket panels. Two hood panels cut on the fold. Two center hood panels. And lastly, two arm panels. And before we get started, you can either use a zigzag because we are using stretchy fabric and we don't want that thread to break. So use a zigzag stitch or you can use a serger and that's going to cut it and sew it and it's meant for knit fabrics. Either option will work just fine. Getting started with assembly, we're going to grab both your pocket panels, place the right sides together and we're going to stitch both the side edges at a quarter inch seam allowance. And we're gonna be sewing this entire pattern with a quarter inch seam allowance. And we will be using a serger in the video, but if you don't have one, just make sure you use a zigzag stitch. And when it's sewn together, go ahead and flip the right side out. And once you have the right side out, we're going to be sewing off the top and the bottom edge. And this is primarily to keep everything neat and together so it's easier to sew onto the front panel. And we're going to be adding a top stitch on both sides of the pocket opening. And the pocket opening is going to be the angled edge. And you're going to want to place this stitch about a quarter inch away from the edge. Next we're going to grab our front panel and we're going to line that pocket up with the bottom and in the center of that panel. And once you have it lined up, we're going to go ahead and roll over that top edge and pin it on. And once you have it pinned into position, we're going to go ahead and add a stitch on that top edge, securing it to that front panel. And I'd recommend going back and forth a few times when you start and end to really secure it down and lock it into position on those high stress areas. 
And now we're gonna do the same exact thing for both of the sides. And again, I recommend going back and forth to really tack that top of the pocket down. Next, grab your center hood panel and your hood panel, and this is just gonna be one side, and we're gonna place that center hood panel on the top edge of that hood. Place the right sides together, and you can pin it on from the front all the way down to the back. And once you have that pinned into position, go ahead and sew all the way along that top edge. And since I'm using a serger that has a cutting knife, I'm not going to be adding pins because I don't want to get that caught in the machine. Once you have that sewn onto half of your hood panel, we're going to flip the other side of the hood panel around with right sides together and do the exact same thing. Line up those front edges and sew all the way along that top edge. And now that you have one done, you can go ahead and flip the right side out and check it out, see how it looks. And you're going to be doing this again, so do the exact same thing for the other two hood panels. Now that you have both of the hood panels complete, keep one right side out and one inside out. Place them inside each other with the right sides together. And the best way to make sure you have them lined up is use that center hood panel to line up both of the tops. And once you have them lined up, we're going to go ahead and sew all the way around that outside edge. And once you have it sewn together, you can go ahead and flip the right side out. Next, we're going to be installing the eyelets. And you're going to want to mark the front where you want those eyelets to be placed. And a good way to do this is fold the hood in half and measure out about an inch and a half on both sides. Once you have your markings, you can cut your holes and add your eyelets. And make sure you're only cutting through the outer layer because you're going to want them on the inside of that hood. And we're going to be using a hammer die. You can find these at pretty much any hobby store. All you have to do is place it on the back, hammer it down, and it's locked onto that fabric. And the biggest thing here is just make sure you only add these onto the outer layer. Now we're going to be adding a top stitch all the way around the outside edge and under those eyelets. I like to line up at the bottom under those eyelets and then keep that same distance all the way through until you reach that stitch again. And the last step for the hood is we're going to be closing off that bottom edge so it's easier to attach onto the main body. So make sure the layers are lined up and sew all the way around that bottom edge. Next, we're going to grab the back and the front panel, and we're going to line up those shoulder seams with right sides together. And once you have them lined up, go ahead and stitch along both of those edges. Reach the wizard. 
Now we're gonna be adding the arm panel. So go ahead and mark the center of that arm panel and line it up with that shoulder seam. And I recommend pinning this on before you start sewing. And again, once you have it pinned down, go ahead and sew all the way through. And you're gonna wanna repeat this process for the other arm. And now that you have both of the arms sewn on, we're gonna be placing the right sides together and lining up those side seams. And a good way to do this is line up the bottom, the middle arm seam, and the outside edge of that arm. And once it's all lined up, we're gonna sew that entire edge from the bottom all the way through that arm. And again, repeat this process for the other side. Well, I'm told it means going along, listening to all the things you can't hear, and not bothering. The next step will be attaching the hood, so go ahead and mark the centers of your front and back panel. Mark the centers on your hood, and you're going to want to place that hood on the inside with the right sides together, lining up those center points. And I recommend pinning it so it stays centered, and once you have it pinned together, go ahead and sew all the way around that neckline. And I recommend pulling that hood out just to make sure all the edges are sewn together. Next, we're going to be adding the ribbing, and this is total preference. We're going to be cutting ours at four inches and fold it in a half, and we're going to have it about four inches shorter than the width of the actual hoodie. This is going to allow it to stretch out and pull that bottom back together and cinch around your waist. You can make it shorter or wider. It's totally up to you and how much cinch you want at the bottom of your hoodie. And once you have two pieces sewn together, go ahead and roll the wrong sides together on top of each other and then we're going to place it on the inside of that hoodie with the right sides touching. And what we're going to do is line up the side seams of the ribbing with the side seams of the hoodie to make sure it's centered. And keep in mind as you're sewing this, you are going to have to stretch it into position as you sew. So I recommend pinning both of those side seams and stretching and sewing one half at a time. And this can be a little bit tricky at first, but just take your time and go slow and it should turn out just fine. And as you can see, the ribbing is pulling together the bottom of that hoodie to make it a tighter fit around the waist. And you can go shorter and make it more fitted if you want to. Now we're going to do the same thing for both the armholes, but we're going to be rolling the ribbing over on top of itself so we only have one seam. And we're going to be doing ours about two inches shorter than the actual size of the armhole. And again, you're going to roll that ribbing over right sides together and sew along that longer edge. And just like before, roll the wrong sides together on top of each other. And you can go ahead and throw it on your wrist to make sure it fits nice and snug. And once you're satisfied with the fit, we're going to go ahead and place it on the inside of the hoodie with the right sides together, lining up those side seams. Once you have it into position, go ahead and stretch and sew all the way around the outside edge. Now that the ribbing's all on, flip the right side of the hoodie out. And at this point, I like to check the ribbing to make sure all the layers got sewn in. And the final step is to add the cord as a drawstring. 
and there are many ways to do this. I find the best is to use a safety pin. And finally, to finish it off, add on your cord stoppers. And they come in so many different styles. Find some cool ones, add them on, and make your sweater look unique. They're super easy to add. Just squeeze them together, feed the cord through, and you're good to go. And there you have it. Your hoodie is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. We're going to keep the videos coming at you, so we'll see you next time. Oh,